next guest is one of the best-selling authors of all time. His autobiography, James Patterson by James Patterson, The Stories of My Life, is on sale now. Please welcome back to the show, James Patterson. This is so cool. I'm not usually up this late. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big deal to have you uh, past the witching hour. So uh, last time you were here was with a book you co-wrote with uh, former President uh, Bill Clinton. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah co-wrote about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you've written books with Dolly Parton. Is it nice to, to be out uh, with the spotlight oh, all to yourself? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. No, this is good. This yeah. is good. I like it. I yeah. Like it. You uh, obviously, when you write thrillers, you come up with thrilling titles, the kind of title that make people say, I've got to read this book. Tell us Are how you, you came up. Are you that that title isn't any good? <laughs> It's James very, Patterson it's by James Patterson? Here's a, here's a question I have for you, though. Who Great. the hell's the guy in the cover? I was going to say, because <laughs> I went and said hi to you backstage, and then I saw this book, and I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens to me. I go to the mirror, you know, I go to the, get up in the morning, stumble into the bathroom, and I look in the mirror, and I go, oh, you again. <laughs> You, uh, you talk about your you know, journey as a writer. Obviously, uh, you could never have guessed you would sell over 400 million books over the course of your career. Or, you talk or about four thousand. Any, yeah, any yeah. number is a big number. But you go to a bookstore early in your career when you're about to find out your first, you're gonna have your first hit book. Yeah. And uh, a pretty interesting thing happens when you see somebody looking at it. Yeah, well, yeah, I, it, it was on the Times bestseller list, but I didn't believe it. So I went into a local bookstore, and what'll happen with writers is, if if you pick up the book and we're in the store, we're watching you. If you put it down, it breaks our heart. Yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> If you buy it, it makes our day. So I'm watching this woman. This, I'm early in my career. And uh, she looks at it, and she looks at the back. And then she walks down the aisle, and I said, this is the best. I want to go hug this woman, you know? She puts it in her bag. She stole it. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm going is, does that count as a sale? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You, do you ever introduce yourself to someone? I mean, you must see people reading a James I Patterson. I did, except years ago, I introduced myself at a swimming pool. This, this guy was, I said, how you like it? And he goes, it's <laughs> 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 No, that's it. It's terrible. So I don't do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was the last time. Do you you get, learn your lesson when you get hit like that. Do you get uh, recognized as, as yourself now? This certainly, well, this yeah, cover just, photo's not going to help. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> that's, that's my hope. <laughs> No, just last week, my wife's out of town. I go to this little Italian restaurant that, I, <clears throat> that we really like, and they say, we'll, we'll fit you in. So the waiter takes me down a little aisle. This woman pops up. This is a true story, tragically. And um, she goes, I know you. You sold us our insurance policy. <laughs> I'm like, I, this is true. And then I go to, the, to the, uh, my table, and I'm sitting there, and I get my appetizer. And the guy behind goes, are, are you from Boston? And I turn around, and he goes, you're Tom Clancy. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going, no. <laughs> if I am, we're all in big trouble because he died nine years ago. And it's a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, uh, you know, you write, uh, your books are sort of known for being very gripping, uh, short chapters. This book Just is like a, this one, gripping. Well, it is, though. I mean, this reads, uh, this is so readable, and it has this, you know, momentum uh, within it that you expect from one of your books. Did you sit down to write it like a thriller? I, you know, it was COVID, and I, I, you know, we're thinking about life and whatever, and I just said, let me just start writing down some stories. Uh, and I'm always conscious, but I always try to pretend there's somebody sitting across from me. I'm telling them a story. I don't want them to get up until I'm finished. You could get up now. It'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and that's kind of what I, that, I mean, that's my, my deal. I, uh, uh, we were talking backstage, so they heard you speak at an award show where you're being honored. Um, and you, and you, you talked, sent me the nicest note. Well, it was, you were very oh, funny. Right. And uh, in a room uh, where... But that was then. Yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> but you said you also told a, a beautiful story about your grandfather and, and, and the way... Uh, a thing he told you about work. Yeah, well, he used to... I, I'm a little kid up in Newburgh, New York, and it was a really great thing for me. I'm 8, 9, 10 years old. He would take me on his delivery route. And uh, uh, he was a great guy, and he would, it would go over to Storm King Mountain. And he'd be singing a terrible voice. He'd sing all these old songs, Oh, Susanna, whatever. And he said, he said, you know, the secret is, he says, I hope when you grow up uh, that when you go over the mountain to, to work in the morning, you'll be singing. 
And I do. I just hope other people do. I don't, I don't work for a living. I play for a living. I, I suspect you do, too. I very Except much feel Except when you get way. a bad guest in it. <laughs> <laughs> you keep a basket of ideas yeah. on your desk. These are ideas for books. A and... very clever thing on a title. It says ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you just sort of randomly reach in when you feel like it's No, time? I don't randomly. I'll just start going through them, and I'll go, what about, what about? And, and it's partly that I feel excited about the... Sometimes you'll put something away, and two years later, you'll look at it, and you go... I know where it goes now. And yeah. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know where it was going. Do you still get excited having written all these books to totally. see an idea for the first, and you go, "Oh, now I know." Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. Every day is not every day, but a lot of time. Well, you know, you know how it works. I mean, you just suddenly, yeah, it's clicking. It's, yeah. This is working. I can make this work, or this chapter work. I think it's exciting because you just never know when it's going to happen again. Yeah. I mean, that's well, there's so that. Yeah. <laughs> we well, try not to think about that too. Yeah, absolutely. See, like with this thing, I, I signed up with Little Brown, so it, it, with the autobiography. And, and I'm writing another one when I'm 90 and another one when I'm 110. Oh, that's very smart. Yeah. And you get I, that and three I, book I got, deal. And I got the money up front. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. Congrats Thank on you. the book. Such a pleasure. James Patterson, everybody. James Patterson by James Patterson is on sale now. We'll be right back with more Late Night.